Hi everyone, welcome back to Lifestyle Love on Sugar Mama TV. Since coming back to work after the Christmas New Year period, I'm feeling a little bit distracted and I'm having trouble concentrating. Hmm, I'm having trouble concentrating right now. I'm feeling distracted, I feel like I'm running five different programs in my mind all at the same time. I go to start something, get distracted, so therefore it doesn't get done. I, if I manage to get something done, it's because I've been multitasking most likely, and then I've got to go back and check what I did to make sure it was done properly. Then if it wasn't done properly, I've either got to fix it or redo the whole entire thing. Definitely not an efficient use of my time. So by the end of the day, I'm so annoyed at myself. I feel frustrated. I feel disappointed. I feel like I'm just spinning my wheels, which is the most annoying feeling and the worst way to end a day. And it's funny because it's actually not normally what I'm like. I'm normally pretty efficient. Obviously, I do get distracted from time to time and have trouble concentrating, but normally it doesn't last for as long as this. Anyway, it's got me thinking and I wasn't happy with the inability to concentrate. So I went back to some of my old books and thought about my usual tips and tricks as to how I concentrate. Anyway, I've started applying my, my old fashioned old school tips and they're working. So I thought I would make this video for you on how I concentrate. Firstly, number one, clear the area. No distractions. Only put on your desk or keep on your desk what you need to actually get the task done. Everything else goes. Also, I recommend you shut down Outlook or your email system. You don't want anyone emailing you breaking your concentration. And that includes your mobile phone. You should switch it off or just simply put it on in another room so you can't hear any sort of beeping or messenger or notifications going off. You want no distractions. The only thing you're allowed on your desk is what you need to get the job done. Okay, you are allowed one thing on your desk that doesn't relate to getting your job done. Hydration. There was a study done in the Journal of Nutrition, I believe, in 2012, and they discovered that even the tiny bit of, bit of dehydration in your body dramatically impacts your ability to concentrate and your attention span. So drink up or have a glass sitting on your desk at all times. <laughs> Three, give yourself a deadline. Write down exactly what job you want done and by what time. Then you need to write down the feelings you're gonna fe experience by having that task done. So say for example, I need to proofread a report. I will write down proofread Mr. Smith's report by 10 a.m. this morning. And then I'll write down just a few key feelings or emotions that I'll experience once I know that that task is done. So for me, this will be probably a feeling of accomplishment, a feeling of maybe a bit of momentum being built up. I'll probably feel a little bit more in control. And most importantly, I'll feel efficient, which I always love feeling. Four, tell everyone that you're trying to concentrate and you do not want to be distracted. Okay, Giuseppe, Sophia, I've got to get this task done. Don't message me. Don't email me. Look at me like that. It's distracting. Don't WhatsApp me. And definitely don't Snapchat me. I'm trying to concentrate. Five, take a break. After you've got 40 or 45 minutes worth of work done, get up, move around, stretch your legs, get some fresh air, go and have a chat to someone, another glass of water maybe, and enjoy just switching off for a few minutes. But if you find you're in a zone and you're getting stuff done, don't break it. Keep that momentum going and power through for as long as you possibly can. Then take a break. Congratulations! You can now reward yourself. You got your tasks done because you concentrated. You can feel a sense of pride. You can feel a sense of accomplishment, in control, efficient, which means you can do something really nice for yourself guilt-free. So now that I've finished this video, I'm going to reward myself. I think I'm going to hang out with these two and take them for a nice walk to a park. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if any of these tips 
help or if you have other ones that I don't know about that you think will help me. I love hearing from you. Anyway, ciao for now and don't forget you can, you can follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv. Ciao for now. Bye. Look at you two. You're so sleepy. You're going for a walk. You're not supposed to be sleepy. You're supposed to be happy, excited, not sleepy. Aww.